The term alternate day fasting seems to be self-explanatory. You simply alternate between fasting and non-fasting days. But two common variations add a twist to this form of intermittent fasting by allowing you to eat some food on your fasting days. In this video, I show you how to follow complete and modified alternate day fasting routines. Alternate day fasting is worth a look whether you are new to intermittent fasting or experienced and looking for ways to vary your routine. Let's start with the straightforward method. Performing a full alternate day fast means that you consume no calories on your fasting days. Depending on your interpretation, this could mean fasting anywhere from 24 to 36 hours. A 24 hour fast would be very similar to one meal a day fasting in which you are eating every day, but only for one meal. With a 36 hour fast, you take a true day off from eating. For instance, you could finish eating dinner at 7 p.m. on Monday, avoid food on Tuesday, and then resume eating at 7 a.m. on Wednesday. During the fasting period, you could consume non-caloric drinks like water, coffee, and tea. During the eating window, you can eat whatever you want, which we will talk about more at the end of this video. The advantage of complete alternate day fasting is that it results in weight loss even though food choices are not restricted on eating days. And it would seem that fasting for a day would lead to binge eating the next day. And while studies show that participants tended to eat more than normal on non-fasting days, the amount that they consumed was not enough to overcome the reduction of calories from the fasting days. So the weight loss that is seen with consistent alternate day fasting is due in part to the fact that calorie intake is naturally decreased over time. The disadvantage is that going without food for more than a day may cause a loss of muscle mass. There have been studies showing that the excretion of urea nitrogen increased after one full day of fasting. And that is important because urea nitrogen is a waste product that is excreted in the urine when protein like that found in your muscles is broken down. So it is possible that if you are not refueling properly on your eating days, that you could be sacrificing muscle. Another disadvantage is that it is hard to completely go without calories every other day, which makes it hard to envision this strict form of fasting as a long-term strategy. Dr. Krista Verde is one of the leading researchers on alternate day fasting. She found that allowing the consumption of 20 to 25% of your body's energy needs on fasting days increased adherence without sacrificing the health and weight loss benefits. And to make this modified form easier to do, it's acceptable to think of just eating 500 calories on your fasting days. The alternate days are then looked at as feasting days, meaning you can eat whatever you want. And the advantage is that it is much easier to stick with a fasting routine long term if you are consuming some calories on your fasting days. There may also be a mindset advantage by knowing that you can eat to your satisfaction level the next day. Um, when you do that, you eliminate the common panic-driven thoughts that make us feel deprived and cause us to throw in the towel. Uh, studies also show that the allowance of some calories on fasting days prevents the loss of muscle mass and protects against disease. The disadvantage is that it is still requiring you to be disciplined. Even though you are allowed to eat 500 calories on your fasting day, hunger may become an issue and you'll do best if you track your nutrient intake to make sure you are getting proper nutrition in your overall diet. I will add that the research that has been done on this and other forms of alternate day fasting took place over many weeks and months, so consistency may be needed for the full benefits to show. Another way you can alternate between fasting and non-fasting days is to follow a 5-2 routine. This method was popularized by Dr. Michael Mosley and is also known as the fast diet. The 5-2 diet protocol involves limiting your calories for two days of the week and eating as you normally would for the other five days. The fasting day calorie limit is 500 calories with some sources promoting a slightly different uh, amount for men and women with uh, men being allowed 600 calories and women being allowed 500. And those fasting day calories can be consumed in a single meal or spread out into smaller meals. 
The days that you choose to fast are up to you as long as you do not put them back to back. So you could fast on Monday and Thursday, but you would not want to fast on Monday and Tuesday. 5-2 fasting is effective at weight loss and like the other methods, this weight loss advantage may be due to the fact that alternating between fasting and non-fasting days creates a calorie deficit over time. One six-month study compared two groups of overweight women. One group was placed on a daily diet that cut their normal calorie intake by 25%. The other group restricted their calories by 75% on two days of the week, and then they ate normally on the other five days. Analysis at the end of the study showed that the two groups took in about the same level of calories and macronutrients despite their different patterns of eating. And this again seems to indicate that alternate day fasting does not cause binge eating as we might expect to see. Another advantage is that 5-2 fasting requires you to eat a low calorie diet on two days of the week rather than every other day. And you have the freedom of choosing the days to fast as long as they are not consecutive days of the week. Now, there is no assurance that these alternate day fasting routines will be right for your metabolism, but 5-2 would be the least restrictive and therefore the easiest entry point for these forms of fasting. So if you are looking for that, uh, that might be the place to start. And it is worth noting that as with any extreme calorie restriction, you may get side effects like irritability, hunger, or difficulty sleeping and five days of normal eating could be a slippery slope for some people. Even if there is an overall calorie deficit created by this fast, it is human nature to want to reward yourself after doing hard work, which could translate into eating more junk food than you normally would on your feasting days. Lastly, some consideration needs to be given to the question of whether it is truly okay to eat whatever you want on non-fasting days. I certainly understand the appeal of this idea. Having regularly scheduled days to feast implies that you could regularly enjoy the standard American diet with boxed snack cakes and fast food meals and sugary coffee drinks. Dr. Veraday's research shows that even when study participants are allowed to select their food items on their feasting days, they consume fewer calories throughout the study. And this finding suggests that participants did not overdo it on calories when allowed to eat freely. But one thing that is missing from all of these alternate day fasting studies is the reporting of the foods consumed on feasting days. It's not clear if being in a study caused a conscious or unconscious uh, improvement in food choices. In my opinion, looking at these methods of fasting as a way to eat with abandon has the potential for health consequences and makes your fasting experience less enjoyable. Regular consumption of fast foods and processed foods, even if it is every other day, has little health value and can lead to unstable blood sugar levels that could result in enhanced cravings on fasting days. So if a modified fast is something that interests you, I think you'll be happiest with your health and weight loss results if you choose whole unprocessed foods. I have a free report on intermittent fasting. Uh, so if you'd like to learn more about this topic, you can download a copy. It shares common mistakes to avoid and ways to make fasting easier. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you know when my next video is released. Till then, have a great week.